Major League Baseball announced rule changes for the 2020 season. Yippee! Hey guys, it's Josh and I know it all coming to you today to talk about the rule changes from Major League Baseball because nothing could go wrong with Major League Baseball backing something up. Yeah, whatever. Okay, guys, before we jump into this, take a moment, subscribe to the channel. That way you know when new videos come out. We got new content coming out every day. And with the season about to start, we're going to have interviews and lots of fun stuff. Just anything I can think of that's baseball related, I'm going to do a video on it just because it's fun. Uh, also, don't forget to like the video. It does help out to let other people know that the video is here. They can find it and kind of be a part of the 90 Know It All group. So, you know, simple things. Takes two seconds. Subscribe, like, and it's easy. So, guys, let's jump into this. Here are the new rule changes for 2020. And I don't hate all of them. First one, right off the bat, I hate this one. Three batter minimum for relief pitchers, for starting pitchers. Now, I get where this comes from. Um, I kind of hate the idea of an opener. So, hey, make a starter face at least three pit, three batters. Sure, great. No, that's fine. And I understand that they, they get tired of having, you know, a relief pitcher come in and face the first batter, then another one come in and face the next batter, then another one come in to face the next one. It does slow the game down. It is kind of, as a fan, kind of boring, especially if you're watching on TV, to have it go from commercial to commercial to commercial it does get kind of boring kind of tiresome but at the same time that's part of what baseball is that's part of how the rosters are set especially for the postseason to have that specialist come in and get the guys out that they need to get out and then move on so i don't like this i think it's a, a stupid rule i really do um i understand where it's coming from but i don't i don't see a need for it i, I really don't um there's other ways to speed up the game than limiting bullpen guys. You know, there's other ways. There's there's a lot of other ways to um, to speed up the game. There just is. There's better ways. A lot of better ways. Uh, the next rule change: roster limits. Uh, instead of the 25 man roster, it's now the 26 man roster, and teams can only cut c carry a maximum of 13 pitchers. I actually kind of like this. I think it's not a bad rule. Uh, 13 is a pretty good number of pitchers for, for a team uh, that doesn't take into account two-way players. And I'll talk about that in just a second because they bring that up in the rules as well. But I like the idea of having another player on the roster. It doesn't hurt to have a another guy who can be up there, who can run, who can hit. Um, yes, it does take away the slightest bit of the strategy behind things, but one player doesn't make or break a strategy. But it's nice to have another guy up on the roster. So... Um, I'm totally fine with that. doesn't bother me one bit. Uh, September call-ups are changed a little bit. And I actually love this one. Teams have to carry 28 players. Uh, so a lot of teams, they wouldn't call guys up. They would just play with what they got, and they would leave the other guys down, whether to save some money or whatever. Every team has to call up and have 28 guys on the roster. 14 of those can be pitchers. So, yeah, I'm completely okay with that. Um Give some of those minor leaguers a chance. That means two guys will um, get to call up that wouldn't have been probably called up before. So I'm okay with that. I have no problem with that. I kind of wish that, I don't know if there's a maximum um, number of guys they can bring up. It may just be 28 period, you know, no more, no less, which um, is good and it stinks in some ways because some teams did bring up more guys. But you know what? I'm fine with that. 28 sounds fine. Not an issue with me. No problem with that. Uh, they did make a distinction for two-way players, and this I actually love. Major League Baseball, for years, has been taking guys who are tremendous athletes, guys who can hit, guys who can run, throw, field, and can pitch, and forcing them to choose one or the other. Forcing them to be either a pitcher or a shortstop, pitcher or an outfielder. And now, finally, Major League Baseball, because of this rule, this two-way player designation rule, is kind of forcing teams to reconsider that, to say, hey, yeah, you can take a guy and make him just a pitcher or just a hitter, but if you make him both, you can actually use him in a lot of different ways. Because of the rules, you want a two-way designation. You want that. Um, and I think it's a good thing. I think it's a good thing to encourage teams to find these athletes 
and develop them to be all around baseball players, to be pitchers, outfielders, to do it all. And if you can do it all, your value is, is a lot higher. So I think, you know, you got Hunter Green, who was drafted just, a, what, two years ago. Absolute cannon on the mound, but he can hit. He can hit like nothing else. Uh, Lorenzen up in for Cincinnati, he can hit and he can throw. Guy's got legitimate bat. I mean, he can he could probably start for a lot of teams in the outfield, but he also can throw. He's a good pitcher. So I like this two-way designation. It kind of forces teams to rethink what they've done for the last 40, 50 years. Forces teams to say, hey, maybe we should train a guy, take an extra year to train him both in pitching and fielding, you know, be a position player. I think it's a win-win. I think things like that um, are exciting for fans. I mean, the Angels have Otani who can do both, and that's exciting for fans to see a guy who can throw and hit. That That is cool. So uh, next thing, um, position players, extra player rule. No one cares about any of that stuff. Here's one. Uh, the injured list for two-way players and for pitchers is now 15 days again, not 10 days. But I think for just a normal position player, it's still just 10 days. So they went from 15 day for the um, injured list, and now it's it was 10 days. Now it's 15 days for pitchers, which I understand this. This is kind of I would call this the Dodger rule. Uh, they would just oh look, one of the pitchers has a hangnail. He's on the disabled list for 10 days just so he can miss a start or two. They can bring another guy in to, to throw. The Dodgers did that. A few other teams did that as well. I, I get this one. I kind of like this one too. Uh, if a pitcher gets hurt 15 days, that way teams can't manipulate the injured list and you know work that system like they were. I mean, that was the rules last year, so it's perfectly fine they did that. Um, but I'm glad they kind of changed this one. And now speaking of speeding up the game, here's one that... I like because I hate, hate when managers stand in the dugout and do this because they're trying to do a review or see if they want to do a review. They now have 20 seconds instead of 30 seconds. Um, good. If you're going to review it, review it. If you want to, to challenge the play, then just challenge it. Don't sit there and, and try and hold up the game. I hate, I hate seeing the managers with their hands up, stopping the game and waiting. Speed that up. Speed that up. I mean, make him go faster. Make him make the call. Make a decision. Um, for most managers, trust your gut. If you see things the guy's safe and he was called out, challenge it. You know, you only get a couple challenges. What is it? Two challenges per game. Uh, so challenge it. Challenge it. Why not? What's it hurt? In the playoffs, yeah, rely more on your video guys. But you know, I hate once again. I hate when managers stand there. With their hand out, stopping the game for a full 30 seconds, and then decide, nope, don't want to challenge. Yeah, 20 seconds, I'm fine with that. It's a good rule. So, so guys, really, these new rule changes aren't horrible. First one is, I hate the three batter rule, but the rest of those rules aren't that bad. I, I like the addition of an extra spot on the roster. I like the um, the two way player designation to really emphasize to teams that that's a something they need to work on and focus on. Uh, the disabled list, I'm fine with that, and the even the challenge time, I'm fine with that. Those aren't big changes to the game. Uh, changing the roster size doesn't change the game in any way, shape, or form. Just adds another guy on the bench. So I'm fine with that. So, guys, those are my thoughts. If you agree or disagree, go in the comments below. Let me know so I can see what everybody else is thinking. Because for me, other than the three batter minimum, I'm fine with the other ones. I'm doesn't make a difference to me. They're cool. I, I'm okay with that. Um, yeah. So guys, leave a comment down below with your thoughts. And guys, I will talk to you later on. I'm Josh, the Nye Noto. Talk to you later.